Bignani here for Asset or Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event with item number 203. This is a 1964 Dodge 330 four-door sedan. Now, here's the thing. It looks like a parts car, and it is. But hear me out. Those of you out there who love Mopar Max Wedge and Superstock 1964 vehicles know darn well that the two-door posts are virtually impossible to find. So it's a thing now where folks will buy a four-door like this, get a set of two-door hardtop doors, use these frames to then replicate a two-door post. So this is actually a very valuable core for a two-door 64 Dodge Max Wedge or Race Hemi clone. With that said, let us now explore this one. Uh, the quarter panels on this are the real crux of the issue. Those are things that are very, very important. Uh, very much rust-free. Let's take a peek with our little magnet here. Wonderful. No rust. This has not been rolled. The fender lip is in great shape. The magnet sticks all the way around. And again, this is stuff you will need for that two-door conversion. Quarter panel is fantastic, rolls under all the way. There are no holes. This is a wonderful quarter panel. Let's now go to the other side and take a peek there. Uh, the trunk floor, okay, yeah, we do have some perforation down through here. I can put my hand through it, but again, trunk floors for these things are available reproduction. The real challenge is finding the core vehicle in the first place. This quarter panel, equally nice, good and solid. A uh, little bit of bubbling down low. This orange stuff you see here, that will be a hole in five years or so. But again, this is a first generation rust, so to speak. It's not putty, it's not been covered. No effort to hide anything. And again, the rear of this car, the tail, is the money. Here's the B-pillar, and yes, the two-door and four-door use the same B-pillar. This area here would be welded shut, and again, the two doors from a hardtop would be merged in here. This would be moved back, and believe me, it is done. Absolutely, you take a four-door and turn it into a two-door. This one was born a three-speed manual on the column. There's that stuff. The floor is pretty bad. It's rotten, gone, 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 but that's okay. Once again, the parts are available, the patch panels. And this being a 330, there's the original rubber floor mat. And you Max Wedge and Race Hemi guys know this stuff is very hard to find and wonderful. Even though that's wasted, it's kind of cool to see. Uh, up in the front here, the cowl is in really good shape. Uh, somebody has sliced away uh, the inner fender here, it's gone, but the cowl is beautiful right there. There's no rust in this area. Uh, this is a nice cowl. The inner fender on this side is really good. The K-frame has been harvested. This was probably a Poly 318 car. The inner fender here is present, the shock tower. Here's the uh, one of the torsion bars, and we'll pass through gingerly, Ryan. It's kind of <laughs> stepped lively, good sir. And it's kind of nice, the originality, here's the dust boot for the uh, passenger side ball joint or you know tie rod end right there. That's pretty cool. This is a nice original piece. Uh, again, the cowl, very solid inside of here. Good stuff. The door is looking very good. A little bit of rust here, but again, this door uh, could be stretched. Or again, if you found a set of uh, two-door hardtop doors, which are pretty easy to find, you then take this frame, stretch it, and use it along with this pillar. But again, this is item number 203, uh, yes, 203, a 1964 Dodge 330. And again, this is kind of a specialized item. This is for those guys who want to take the four-door, turn it into a two-door, and reconstruct a race Hemi or Max Wedge clone. Bit away.